Welcome to my channel. My name is Karina and I really can't believe that I'm saying that I officially have a YouTube channel and that this is officially my first video going up. And there's many reasons for that. Let me just tell you, the struggle has been real to get here and to finally record this video and put it out here. Um, and I'll tell you a little bit more as we get into the video. But once again, welcome. My name is Karina and I'm so excited to start this journey. My whole intention with my YouTube channel, and I'll go more into it throughout the video, but is to connect with at least one person and make their day better. So whenever my videos go up, whatever it is, whether it's makeup, whether it's a fashion video, whether it's a blog, whether it's my uh, personal story, whatever it is, I want to be able to connect with someone and um, make them happier, make their day better. That's it. By always also being myself, being authentic, um, being transparent. I don't want to pretend to be anybody else that I'm not. I'm not perfect and nor do I pretend to be. And uh, I'm learning and this is all about having fun because that's what life is about and I've learned. Um, so yeah, for the longest I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel, but there was many reasons holding me back. One being that I would tell myself that I was too busy, that I needed to focus on my career, uh, which for those that don't know, my background is in social work, uh, social services. I've done it for a while. And um, that was my main priority. If I went to school, I need to find myself a big girl job and focus on that, right? There's no time for anything else. And I did that for the longest. I've been doing it for the longest. And so that was one of the big excuses. But the biggest excuses were the following, were the lack of confidence that I had, the lack of self-love that I had for myself, the negative talk towards myself and my capacities, and also the naysayers, the dream killers that would tell me like, oh, why would you do that? You need to focus on your career. You need to make more income. You need to do this. You need to do that. You need to stay to focus on one thing. You can only do one thing. So that's what happened. But I don't know about you guys, but I can only share my own personal story. But this past years with the whole pandemic and everything that's been going around the world, I've taken it as a refresh button and it literally has because those that know me know that I've always been a very go 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 person I always manage to say I'm busy I'm doing this I'm starting a new project I want to volunteer here I want to do this project I my work this and that and that and that's not a healthy lifestyle and I don't even know why I was doing it for who Yes, to help other people. That has always been my life passion and mission. I truly believe that I was placed in this earth to help others. However, I wanted to help others but wasn't helping myself because I wasn't loving myself, wasn't taking time for myself, I wasn't doing things that would make me happy all the time. So the pandemic has really, really opened my eyes allowed me like me to take time for me to enjoy a cup of coffee in the morning to be at home to spend time with my family my loved ones and to learn how to love myself and really define what is it that Karina wants to do and although I love helping people through my career and what I get to do through my different roles and the community work that I do, I will never, I don't think I'll ever stop doing that. My, my love for helping others and serving others through the social work aspect, and I also do financial literacy, is something that I'm truly passionate about, and I'll continue to do that. But I've also discovered that for the longest I've been brainwashed to think that success is defined by the amount of money that you have in your bank account, the 
type of car that you drive, where you live. I felt that that was success. That it, until I have a specific title and until I'm making a certain amount of money, that's when I've made it and I really put to use my, my degree, which is helping people. However, I realized this past year that that is not true. Everybody can have their own definition of what success is, but to me, that is not success. To me, success is being able not only to serve others in many different ways, but is being happy at the same time that you're doing. To me, that's very rewarding. And yes, many people would say, come on, money's important. Yes, it is important. And who doesn't like money? However, to me, that doesn't define my success. And also, I realized that my whole purpose in life has always been, and I've told myself, is helping others. But again, I had that idea that helping others consisted of putting into work my degree, which yes, that's part of it. But in reality, I can be helping people in other ways, and I'll be doing it through my YouTube channel. And this is what this channel will channel will be about is by connecting with others and helping them in different ways whether it's through a beauty video whether it's through a fashion video whether it's through one of my personal stories and my journey with my careers um, my journey with relationships or whatever it is that i put out there i can help people and be happy at the same time and i can do so many things and not put myself in a little box because others tell me that you need to stick to one thing. Do what makes you happy. And that's exactly what I'm doing through this channel. I also want my channel to be a space where I'm truly myself. I'm as genuine as I can be. Silly as I am. A lot of people don't think I'm silly. If you meet me in person, I think, oh, she's very serious. No, I'm not. I love to have fun. I love to joke around. So I'm going to be myself, unapologetically myself. I'm tired of worrying about what others have to say, what's right, what's wrong. I want to enjoy my life to the fullest. There's so many things that I feel that I can share my talents with others and I'm not doing it. So now is the time. And I hope that I can connect with some of you and that um, you're patient with me and that you continue sticking around through my journey. I'm hoping to put up a video once a week and we'll see how it goes. Like I said, I'm try still trying to get the hang of this. So bear with me, um, but that's my sole intent with this video. Intent with um, these videos that I put out is to connect with people, be genuine, let's have fun let it be a space for for us to be creative life's too short to one day say i should have could have would have and lastly what type of videos will you be watching through my channel or what to expect well if i'm all very honest with you i really don't know so when people ask me like oh what's your channel going to be about and you have to have a niche. You have to know what you're talking about. You have to grab your audience. Well, I don't plan to be an expert on YouTube and nor do I expect for people to think that I'm a professional in this area or that I know what I'm doing, like I mentioned earlier. But I do know that I don't wanna to stick to one thing. So in general, my video overall is going to be lifestyle, my life, the things that make me happy, showcase a little bit about myself from maybe doing makeup tutorials. I love makeup, I love fashion, maybe putting together outfits, um, talking about my career journeys, giving advice in any of those areas if anybody asks for them or needs it, getting to know me. But my videos intentions again are just to simply make someone smile for me to be myself authentically and to be happy. That's truly what it's all about. So send me any ideas that you have, anything that you would like to see. 
Um, I'm more than open to looking into it and possibly putting some content out there, hoping to put up videos like I mentioned once a week. Uh, but bear with me. Don't make. It, I'm not making any promises. I'm getting the hang of it. Anybody that's watching this video is to go for it. Whatever has been in your mind that you've been thinking about, that you've been self-doubting yourself, just do it. You won't know if it's not for you if you don't try. The worst thing that someone can do with their life is live a what if life. I did it for a long time. I'm not doing it anymore. And if this is a place where I'm going to find my creativity again, be myself, be happy. I'm going to continue to do it until I can. And I just hope some of you want to join this journey. So that's pretty much it, guys, for today's video. Thanks for sticking by through this entire video. Yay, we did it. So I'm very proud of myself. I don't want to sound cocky, but I am proud of myself because it's been a hard journey to believe in myself, to love myself, and to be where I'm at genuinely happy. And you'll learn more about my, my story throughout videos, I'm pretty sure. But I'm just happy to finally do this and hopefully I connect with more people than just my mom through my videos or my sister or my family. Uh, but, but thank you. Oh, and I'll get better with my ums and looking that way and looking that way. I'm a very kind of like squirrel kind of girl. And also another thing, if you notice, I talk a lot with my hands. Sorry, I'll try my best to put them here. Uh, and you'll also get to see uh, that or you'll find me speaking Spanglish. Uh, and I might have a heavy accent, which is because I am bilingual and very proud of that. My native language is Spanish. And I know I won't be everybody's cup of tea. And I've accepted that that is okay because there are some people that I will connect with and there's other people that I won't and that is okay too. As long as I'm not hurting anyone and being myself, that's all that matters to me. So I'll continue to be my true self, Karina, and that's it. But it feels good to love yourself, to believe in yourself, and to be confident and just do what makes you happy. I really hope someone out there does the same thing and whatever is it that they want to do. But I'm just happy I did it. And thank you guys for watching. And hopefully you stick by.